Hello, darlings. Welcome to Tammy and Tiara's. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming along. And I hope you enjoy. And if you do like it, well, maybe you could think about subscribing. And just thank you for coming. I don't know what happened to me this morning, darlings. I don't know. But I woke up with this feeling of calmness, serenity, that'd be the word, clearness, and yes, happiness, a joy to be alive, a joy to be here. And we had a very strange visit last night from a butcher bird. Actually, they're not, it wasn't a butcher bird, it was a, a brown goshawk. And I don't know why, because I was thinking about Anna Marie when it flew in. So beautiful, such a beautiful bird. I'll put a photo in. And I don't know why, but I just feel all of a sudden like I can let her rest. She'll always be in my heart, always. Always in my heart, always in my memories. Heck, this is her tiara that she brought me. And it's beautiful, it's like the tree of life. Very fitting for Anna Marie because she was nothing like me. She didn't like glitz and glamour. She liked things to be understated. And that's how she was. Very understated, elegant lady. I'll always miss her. But I'm back. Today I've cleaned the house for the first time in weeks. And I'm just feeling so much better in myself. So much happier. That I just wanted to pop on and, and say, here I am and thank you so much for all your beautiful comments that you've left me because they really did help. They honestly did. As we all know, grief is a lonely journey, but it was made so much easier by sharing a little bit of it with you guys. So thanks so much. <laughs> oh, darlings, I can't tell you how challenging it is to be filming with Bert home now because he's home all the time now. And anybody who has a hubby home all the time now, knows they're noisy and they're everywhere honestly i have to say to him where are you i'm doing some filming and then maybe he'll stay still for a little while because he'll go off and he'll do something that'll be noisy and then my whole sound will be no good and as i do get lots of complaints about my sound anyway i don't like to have any extra ones so this week darlings i have been knitting my sock and i'm so proud of it so proud excuse my back look darlings look what i'm creating it's a sock. It's from the vanilla sock pattern that Mousy Makes makes. And <laughs> I'm up to doing the toe. And I'm so proud of myself because it hasn't been easy. I've unpulled it. I've given it lots of um, tugs and thinks it looks really, really weird. And um, But no, it's coming together. And it feels really nice when I put it on. So I'm up to the toe. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to start some scarves to do because I've got this beautiful mohair wool that I so want to use and I'm going to make my granddaughter a scarf and all my granddaughters if they want one I'm going to check what colour they would like and start doing some knitting of something that they would like because scarves never go out of fashion and I still have my scarf that mum made me oh years and years and years and years ago and it still means the world to me so you know they never go out. Um, so that's what I've been working on. Have you been working on any projects, reading any books? Leave me a comment and let me know. Lucy has been herself, she's come back to herself. She was quite sick last week. We were really worried about her and thought we'd have to take her to the vet, who she doesn't like the vet, of course. But we gave her a couple of days and I sort of, you know, used Dr. Google and she came good and she was still drinking and what have you. So she just was generally off colour. And we think Bert had done some weed killing um, unbeknown to me up front and it was the pet friendly one of course that's the only one we use but it was in her little patch that she actually goes and eats a little bit of grass there so I think maybe she'd had a little bit of that and it left her very upset tummy so I'm really glad she's good now because don't we love our fur babies what would we do without them I've had so many lovely comments from all of you it's made such a difference to my morning I didn't look at my phone for a couple of days and then I looked today and it was like and it's Tuesday today, I think it's the 13th. I think it's the 13th of August, 2024. And I looked at my comments and there was one there from Charles, who is Blue Knight. 
and he said that I had helped him so much. Well, Charles, your comment really helped me and it got me to be filming some shorts today. So while I haven't got a full face of makeup on, I did it. I just did it because I thought I just, if I don't do it straight away, I won't do it. And I didn't want to go down that road. So I've done some shorts. So you'll see some shorts up. So that's really good. So Lucy and I just wanted to pop on and say hi. I'll put some footage on of us doing various things through the week and me knitting. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you're all well. We went for a beautiful day trip to Meredith on Sunday. I, drove, I took Bert down to, you know, cheer him up a bit. He was, he was a bit sad. And uh, um, I was very sad. <laughs> so we went down for it and we bought a coffee and we went to the park down there, Pioneer Park. I only managed to take one photo, which I think was of Bert giving Lucy a drink of water, because we just lived in the moment and looked at the trees and nature just heals me so much. If I feel flat, I go out in the garden. It really does. It, it helps me so much. So that's what's been going on this way. I love you too, Lucy. I love you too. <laughs> Beautiful girl. Onward, ever onward, Lucy. Lead the way. <laughs> Lots of chairs to sit on. but they've done a lot. We couldn't have done this with her last week. She wasn't well enough. No, neither were we. No, we weren't either, were we, darling? Oh. It's nice to get out in the sun. Spring's here. I just want to pop back on and, and say that I hope you have a lovely week and leave me a comment as always and um, lots of love and light and God bless until next week. I don't want to talk about my grief anymore. I'm over it. I felt like Anna Marie came to me last night and she told me, Tammy, it's time to put the tiaras on again and I could actually do it. So it was, it's, I feel like she's made it to the other side and I'm just so happy and peaceful within and I think that she's given me that from the other side. How could somebody that was so full of love not give you love from the other side? Impossible. So lots of love and light, darlings, from beautiful Ballarat. And as always, God bless. Look after your mental health. Keep yourself in a happy place and do what you have to do to look after yourself every single day. Bye for now till next week. God willing. <laughs>